Welcome back to the second part and I have just noticed that my microphone is really, really quiet and I don't even know why, so I'm sorry about that. I hope that you can pull it up to 11 and get to hear me. So now we have just added the highlights here for the light on the shoulder and on the side of the face. We can do it with this layer to normal and bring down the opacity. You can change for example to overlay, bring it up a notch here, which actually looks better, so let me see that. <laughs> um, a little bit of erasing here because the light on the ear is too much there, that's better. Now we want to add a shadow on this side here because we have shadow here and the light would cast from up here, so we need shadow on this side. We do the same, we open a new layer, we clip it to the face. Then we can either go in with a really nice soft brush and add some black here and bring down the opacity, for example, like this. Just don't do anything here because it's too dark. But there, we could do that. Um, let me this out a little bit, make a new layer. Then as we have seen while adding the highlights, we could also have I use the brush <laughs> and also make it white and go to the blending area here and do subtract and then do this. Another trick that I have learned and I want to show you is to make non-destructive burning. I don't really like burning, but I use it sometimes for some realism. So first we do the same thing, we clip it to the face. Then we put this into overlay and go into edit, fill and then 50% gray. You see, nothing changes here, but now when we go to the burn here, we have the dodge tool, the burn tool, the sponge tool, I use the burn tool for the shadows, of course. Um, make the brush a little bigger, a little bit smoother. Exposure 8% should be okay. And go over here, fill a couple of times. It makes it darker will be shadow. It's not perfect right now, so that's okay. And when we then disable this layer, see the original layer is still beneath. Just the burning on this one. Now let me delete this one because I want to try something else with the burn tool. So overlay, fill 50% gray, then protect tones and go a little bit higher, about 10%. Let's see if that will be more natural. And I think this is actually rather nice. So the hair might throw a little shadow here. Um, so We want to include a bit more of the face, not just the edge. This looks really red. So that can happen when you choose the protect tones. Um, let me see if we can fix that by bringing saturation down. No, we can't. So we actually want to go back to not protect the tones put this in overlay and fill with 50% grain and then start doing this again. As you see, sometimes it's just trial and error. I don't know all the answers either, so sometimes I have to try myself as well, which is perfectly fine. So we have this part. I'm extending the shadow here because the hair throws some, some shadow too. So go, the nose will go 
you should uh, you know if you should uh, and we can play with the time server that in this age of the pain sometimes <laughs> so then we go to the castle to play around with that a bit and let me see what I like this I'm not so sure actually um, this isn't perfect but maybe you just have to use this if you play around with it yourself you can just play around with it some more and find out what works best for you so just try and see what you can do what works best for you which shadows you like where you want to place them always remember that the light source is up here which means basically let me take a nice red color here that this light comes from here and goes this way so everything in this part here would be darker here would be lighter then the, since the face isn't flat there would be shadows here too and so on so make sure that the shadows are all going to the right direction if you have a light source here you don't have the shadows going into this direction it always goes into the direction of the light so just make sure that you work with that and this is actually our done picture and if you want to play a bit more around with the shadows here to make sure that it works fine with the face that it works with the light if you want to adjust the colors of the uniform here or if you want to change hair color or face color or stuff like that now we here have a half color and a, um, a half pip and a full pip so you don't have to change to anything either and I am actually pretty happy with that so this is our done picture or put this guy into uniform now if you see this and you are part of UFOP SB118 and you have suggestions on what you want to say in the next tutorials in the image team forum I have opened a, um, a thread where you can give me your suggestions there have been a couple already so I will surely be making a couple of more tutorials if you are watching this on YouTube and are not a member just comment in the section below and I will see what I can do I hope this has been helpful for you guys and I'm looking forward to doing more to you and until then crea uh, stay creative and bye bye